Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we're going to look at a little bit of math I saw on the internet the other day. I didn't make this up. In fact, I'm not really sure who did. But I'll give you the site, the website where I saw this information, and then we'll talk a little bit about it. So here it is right now. Isn't that magical? I can kind of make things appear and disappear. Okay, now let's get rid of that. Okay, so this is what I saw on the internet. It said, it asked the question, where do numbers come from? And then it tried to justify or say that it came from the number of angles inside each symbol. So for example, number one has one angle, so it'd be one. Two has the two angles here and here. And then three has three angles there, there, and there. And these are apparently the, the numbers in their ancient form. Four would have one, two, three, and four here and here. And all of these, if you count, have the number of angles that that number represents. So like for seven, it would have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that's what this article basically um, was claiming. Now, whether it's true or not, that's where we have to start thinking. So I tried to look up the source. I couldn't really find any other background information. But what I'd like for you to do is to look at this, see if that makes sense to you. Is that something that could possibly be? Maybe look it up yourself. Try and find out what you think about that and use the math and use logical reasoning to try and figure out what's the, I don't know, the validity of this argument or of this, um, this proposed idea and see what you think. So that's our math thought for the week. It's, it's definitely not answers for you, but it adds more questions and hopefully it's been math that makes you think. Have a great week.